In half a mile, turn right onto 295th Street. Continue for one mile.
Okay, folks. Okay. Welcome back to the show. Before I go any further with this, thought I should uh, start the show officially, huh? Hola, compadres. Welcome back to the channel. Chef and outside here. We got ourselves a brand new adventure, ladies and gentlemen. If you saw the sign at the beginning, we're at the Robinson Wildlife Area, uh, just north of Des Moines. Yet another little gym just right outside the city. Not sure how I, these places are more popular, to be quite honest with you. So, and I have a hair ties in my pocket. Let's see that coming. Anyways, um, so yeah, we're out here at the uh, singular primitive campsite they have, all the way at the back of the park. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's at uh, less than half a mile on the particular trail I got, and I got two other routes to get out here. So maybe a, mi a couple of miles worth of trails, if that. Um, and you know, with all the back and forth with filming, you know easily double down on your distance depending on what you're filming so, so yeah out of here to robinson raining it's a wet day is number one reason why i'm out here it's been so damn dry and uh, i mean it must be a third of the state has burn bans on right now luckily i'm in story county let me, let me spit my gum out we're in uh, story county um uh, which currently doesn't have a burn ban yet so and also, I think the camp fire, uh, campground fires are still fine. Just uh, generally, I don't like to start a fire. There's a fire, uh, fire ban of any type. So, so yeah, we're going to get the tarp set up, I think, right over here, which I'll show you in a second. Get ourselves a little bit of rain protection, wind protection. Then we will definitely get a fire going, get some coals going. You know, I brought a chop. Well, well you, do, you know that now. Uh, not wings this time. We're doing chops this week. So, mm-mm. Going to get... Uh, Get ourselves set up, um, and we'll show you a little bit more of the area here. Uh, what are all the amenities in this particular campground? Uh, and we're not spending the night, we're just out here hanging out for a little bit, so uh, but easily a great place to do so. It's even reservable, so that's awesome. A singular side of this campground, so that's really cool. Uh, right along this big old creek, too, here, tons of water. Um, you know, if there wasn't a massive drought, I bet it's really awesome for kayaking, canoes, that type of jazz, or you know, just uh, meandering in so. So yeah, we'll show you a little bit here, and, uh, I'll show you some of the area a little bit more here in just a bit, but until then, let's get our protection up, get ourselves uh, prepared to hang out, huh? Stay tuned. Okay, we're more or less set up. Got one of my pole savings, so we got a bit of a leaned, leaned <laughs> uh, tire pivot. That's okay. I actually think it does give me a little bit more room where I want to sit anyway. So, but we're in, tied down, ready to go. Let's go take a quick look back here because there is something quite interesting. I didn't expect to see a restroom. In pretty decent distance from the campground as well, or the campsite. They done gone and built themselves an outhouse out in here. Almost terrified to even look in it, but one of them worst case scenarios. I suppose you can use it. close to it, man. Ugh. Someone's draws. Disgusting. We open it. See what happened? Oh, that's gross. That is gross. I suppose in an emergency, this could you take care of. Alright, well. So they got a bathroom, so that's cool. Pretty sure I'd rather just take a dump right in the open instead of sit on that thing. That's just me, that's me. Certainly not encouraging anybody to defecate outside. I got a friend though who's a real savage. 
This guy will go anywhere. You know who you are, bud. You know who you are. Enough said. All right, well, let's, even though it's damp, it's still pretty dry in general, so we should have really good options for firewood. Let's get a little fire going for some coals, and it might start a medium-sized fire in the fire pit itself, so stay tuned. I've uh, seen plenty of videos with cats doing it, but I tried it f uh, for myself using my saw blade to scrape the fat wood, and man, it works better than my blade does. A new lesson, a new skill acquired. Awesome, let's get this fire going. Getting my evening together here. Yeah, I did want to show you that it looks like someone leaves a grill grate out here so that's cool and uh i believe these three here i look at this chain and then that i believe it's like a little tripod if you right out the skillet or uh cast iron what have you so got some amenities some features some cool tools man it is really beautiful out here though very peaceful. Okay, got the tarp reconfigured. Put it in a little plow point here. Hopefully reduce a little bit of that smoke I was capturing. So, what was the downside to getting a little too close to the tarp with your fire? You get a little smoke, so. Fire's on. Coals are just about ready. We'll get ourselves a pork chop cooked here in just a moment, all right? Stay tuned. I forgot to mention on um, the pork chops, I seasoned them with uh, McCormick Grill Mates. Uh, they have the seasoning out called Maple Smokehouse. And, oh, finito. Absolutely delicious. Of course, I've had a ton of wings with it. I went through a whole bottle on just wings uh, last few weeks and uh, thought this got to be good on pork chops, too. Just about any white meat, this is definitely going to uh, hit home with. So that's what we got on the grill tonight. Stay tuned.
first flip. Ooh, she is coming together. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Keep our little fire going. Still pretty nice out here. Still windy, but luckily the rain finally subsided. Oh yeah, an all natural coat rack. That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Man. Awesome. Just about finished. Oh, wait, I am hungry. Just the last of that sunset back there. This camera can never do any justice to the sunsets, but it's beautiful. It's got this real dark grayish blue up top, fading into like this bright red, pink, and orange and yellow. seen a, I think an owl or a hawk fly out of the tree. Set up the rearrange the tarp one more time just to once again just really better mitigate the smoke in there. It's working pretty actually uh, it's pretty decently. Pretty decent. It's working pretty decent. Uh, getting some of this heat from the fire. Not exactly as much as you might desire but uh, certainly enough to keep me warm. Take that chill off. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And our outhouse back there for us, in case we need it, which we never will. Ugh. I do want to give a big shout out to Jim over at Our Bean Tales. Our underscore bean underscore tales. Uh, all lowercase. Uh, over on Instagram. He reached out to me having uh, run across me uh, when I collabed with uh, Van Camp 402. And he invited me on out a couple of times. And that second time, I was able to meet him down in Stevens, him and his wife, Kim. Uh, we just stopped in. Me and my buddy Dale, Mr. Powers, we stopped in for a hot second, said hi, had a drink or two, and just got to know each other just a little bit. So, uh, seems like a great guy. Seems like they are really uh, got the bee's knees set up, if you will, for some comfy uh, camping out here in this old wilderness. Uh, they're all they're a really dope camper they have one of those bean campers and it looks like they're able to go off grid with it and they try to take it out as often and everywhere they possibly can so appreciate the invite and uh, looking forward to getting to camp together with you sometime soon so thanks Jim and one more shout out to Van Camp 402 actually he would just hit the uh, radio at Boomer Radio uh, over in Omaha uh, just talking about his channel a bit and uh, he brought he quoted me out here in this uh, camping world, out here in these streets. So, big shout out to Dave. Good looking, Dave. Uh, and a good good radio uh, segment there, too. So, hop over to both of those channels. Uh, Van Camp 42 has his own Instagram as well. Uh, and uh, Our Bean Tales uh, with Jim and Kim. So, let's get this pork chop off the grill. All right, looking good, looking good. A little crispy on this side, that's okay. This is pork, and we want it done. I know the uh, that uh, some places are now serving pork undercooked. Undercooked? I don't give a damn who says that's safe to eat. Never in my life. Let me tell you something. You start pulling giant worms out of your ass, you'll stop eating wor uh, pork raw. That's my two cents, anyways. Stay tuned. If you look through the flames, you can see the remnants of that pork bone. That chop was delicious. Well, all right, folks. I think this uh, fading light is our sign. We got just a little bit of 
fire left here. I think we'll hang out, finish our beer. And then we're gonna pack everything up and get on out of here. We're doing pizza tonight. So we've gotta get home for pizza. All right, guys, we appreciate you watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the likes, the subscribes. And I gotta say another big shout out to Jim. It was a very validating experience having yet another person reach out to me regarding the channel uh, and compliment me on my efforts, however shitty I think they are at this point. So, Jim, you stay tuned. Look at that creepy light in the background. Anyways, Jim, you stay tuned. Like I was telling you, this weekend, we're going to get a little bit better equipment upgrade here in the near week. So, hopefully the footage quality and editing in general gets... Oh, excuse me. Hopefully the footage and editing quality just gets better overall. And you like uh, where I'm headed with the channel. So, Alright, folks. You take it easy. We'll catch you on the flip side, huh? Deuces.